This table lists the frequencies for the number of vacation days people took last year. Note that the number of the sample space is 151. What is the probability a person took at least 6 vacation days? If we let D stand for the number of vacation days taken, then we can write the probability a person took at least 6 vacation days as P of D is greater than or equal to 6. D greater than or equal to 6 means D equals 6 or D equals 7 or D equals 8 or D equals 9. Since each of these events are mutually exclusive, we can use the addition rule to rewrite this as P of D equals 6 plus P of D equals 7 plus P of D equals 8 plus P of D equals 9. For D equals 6, the probability is 42 over 151. For D equals 7, the probability is 64 over 151. Take a minute and fill in the probabilities for D equals 8 as well as D equals 9. Now, use your calculator to plug in these numbers. And the answer is 0 0.87. In other words, the probability a person took at least 6 vacation days is 87%. Instead of doing this problem directly, we could also calculate P of D greater than or equal to 6 by using the complement rule. Remember that greater than or equal to 6 means D could be 6, 7, 8, or 9. So the complement of taking at least 6 vacation days is taking less than 6 vacation days. In this case, the complement is 5. So by the complement rule, P of D greater than or equal to 6 is 1 minus P of D equals 5. For D equals 5, the probability is 20 over 151. Use your calculator and plug in 1 minus 20 over 151. And the answer is 0 0.8. 87. Notice, doing the problem directly or doing it by the complement rule got us the same answer. But sometimes doing the problem directly might be impossible. And in this case, the complement rule is much quicker and much easier. What is the probability a person took at most 8 vacation days? Again, if we let D stand for the number of vacation days taken, then we can write the probability a person took at most 8 vacation days as P of D is less than or equal to 8. D less than or equal to 8 means D equals 8 or D equals 7 or D equals 6 or D equals 5. Since each of these events are mutually exclusive, we can use the addition rule and rewrite this as P of D equals 8 plus P of D equals 7 plus P of D equals 6 plus P of D equals 5. For D equals 8, the probability is 18 over 151. Take a minute and fill in the probabilities for the rest. Now, use your calculator to plug in these numbers and the answer is 0 0.95. In other words, the probability 
a person took at most eight vacation days is 95%. Instead of doing this problem directly, we could also calculate P of D less than or equal to eight by using the complement rule. Remember that less than or equal to eight means D could be eight, seven, six, or five. So the complement of taking at most eight vacation days is taking more than eight vacation days. In this case, the complement is nine. So by the complement rule, P of D less than or equal to eight is one minus P of D equals nine. Now take a minute and complete the problem. Again, doing the problem directly or doing it by the complement rule got us the same answer. But sometimes doing the problem directly might be impossible. And in this case, the complement rule is much quicker and much easier.